I don't know if it was just starting late in the industry or not, you know, coming from a small town, not feeling educated, and suddenly being around these masters of industry and people who were so well read and so worldly, and wanting to receive from them so much, but feeling like I couldn't give back. I feel that with Denis Villeneuve on arrival. Um, Denis is very. He's. No, he's, he's somebody who, um, I think, I've, like I said, I've kind of grown past that. I, I had some experiences. Um, I think being a mom helped me a lot. I think I, 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 that helped me kind of calm down in myself. But, uh, but, being, um, but with Denis, he is so wonderfully compassionate to actors on set, which is so not always the case. He created this very calm environment in which to allow us to have these silent moments full of breath and full of awe and full of wonder and full of confusion and conflict. And his direction never felt like condescending in any way. He was always like, um, I, this is my bad French Canadian accent, but he's always like, I deeply love what you have shared with us in this scene, you know? And I was like, he deep, you know, and then, then of course that actor thing happens where then he's like, one, one day he's like, we can move on now. And you're like, no, 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 no. We, let's go until you deeply love. He's like, it's, this is a shot of your hands, Amy. And I'm like, oh, okay. Um, but aside from that, he, he really, um, he also has developed a lot of really wonderfully complex, true female roles. And that's really, um, I'm not saying that's unique for a man necessarily, but it the is. way he does it is it unique. Is. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but he, he allows women to be smart and tough, but at the same time, uh, you know, vulnerable and confused. And he allows this all to exist. And um, it's just wonderful working with him. What are you doing? Yeah, fine. Okay. They need to see me. Take it off her headmaster, Dr. Bates. Are you okay? They need to see me. Dr. Bates. She's walking towards the screen. <gasps> now that's a proper introduction. Did you get more interested in, in aliens from doing that film? Um, I'm pretty interested in aliens, I mean, I guess, but not, not really. I, I became more interested in human nature. I mean, for me, it's how we relate to one another. That was the theme in the film that kind of surprised me. Because um, when I first took it, I, I, I really wanted to do it because he wanted, uh, when I sat with Denis, he said, um, I can't do, I can't talk about Denis without doing that bad accent, I'm sorry. <laughs> but he said, uh, uh, yes, there will be aliens and there will be all this world stuff, but at the end, uh, it is mom. It's a mother. There you go. It's just a mother telling a story to her daughter. And that, like, kills me. And that got me, and I said, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. And I thought, what, male, what director, male or female, has ever sat me down and said, this is a story of a mom telling... Uh, telling the story of her life, which was the original title. Stage fright. Stage fright, me. more mm -hmm. than in the cam with the camera? I used to have it with the camera. Yeah. Um, I figured that out, thankfully. But, but with stage, I, I didn't realize how bad it was until I was doing Into the Woods in Central Park, and there would be times where I literally thought I wouldn't be able to walk on stage. Not at the beginning. Yeah, not at the beginning, because I was back there and it was a wonderful time because the whole cast like was ducked on and these that stairs. The atmosphere is so great. And that was in so the park great. And the, everything. Yeah, and the yeah. familial environment of that moment was very I you I didn't feel alone, which is um, one of the songs, so that's right. Um, uh, I didn't feel alone, so I felt like a real um, a real team effort, which for me is something that I'm really attracted to in film and on stage. I think the worst stage fright I ever had was singing alone at the Oscars. Oh, wow. oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there you go. Oh Emma, oh maybe this year? Oh, I thought about that. Oh, yes. I was like, oh. Well, at least, you like, at least you didn't have to sing about pimps and whores. Hi, I'm Taraji P. Henson. What's going on? I'm Alicia Keys. Matt Damon. Naomi Harris. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching. For more videos, be sure to subscribe to Hollywood Reporter. I don't work for the Hollywood Reporter. They paid me to say that, though.